Okay, so today we're going to look at this solder rework station, as they call it. Um, I think that's the model number, JCD8898, I'm not sure. But I'll put a link in the description anyway. So you get your nozzles for your hot air thing. There's a hot air gun thing as well. And um, wire seems okay. I haven't even plugged it in yet. But then you've got your iron. And um, you get your plug, EU plug, but I'm going to put that to one side because I've got a UK one here. The good thing is it takes the three prong pretty standard like PC power supply or um, something like that so yeah and then you get this crappy little stand which I'm not bothered about anyway because I've got a, got a stand anyway so um, we're not gonna actually turn this on we're gonna uh, take it apart because I was advised to take it apart first to check some things inside so I thought I'd do a video on um, taking it apart and looking what's inside so we can see what's going on so let's try and get these screws out a bit tight yeah bit too tight for my uh, screwdriver so have to do some manual turning mm, just about two more this was um, the cheapest one on there basically and for the money I thought well you can't go far wrong so yeah Last one here. Come on. Bear in mind, I'm no electronics expert by any means, but I'm good at taking things apart. Right then, see what we have. It looks like we are earthed to one of these terminal plugs. Did something fall out then? I'm not sure. What is that? I don't know. Something seemingly stuck there. I think it's a magnet or something. I'm not sure. Anyway, so we are earthed from the plug to this terminal, which is the. Let me check, I think that's the. Yeah, the iron. So the iron is earthed to um, its plug, direct to the plug. And then uh, the earth jumps over to the second plug from the first one. So. It all looks okay. Uh, let me just pull these clips off a minute. Got to remember which way they go. So the short one on the corner. Okay. Just have, so we can have a look here. See it a little bit better. So that that's bound to be some sort of power supply, I would assume. And then. And here you have your controller board. Um, it all looks okay to me. I mean, as I say, I'm no uh, expert, but I can't see anything like that will be concerning. And it is earthed, like I said, so that was the main thing I was looking in here for. So let me put this all back now. Maybe we can.
can test it, see if it works. I hope it works anyway. Right then, switch that back in there. Ah, yeah, ah, seems like there's a magnet in there. There's a magnet there and there. I assume it's to hold the um, the gun in. I'll only assume. So uh, maybe it ho it's just to hold it in place, I guess. Which I suppose you probably need. Right, so let's get these screws back in. Let's see if we can uh, just whack them in. So I can probably gonna need um, to manually do these as well. Let's get this one. And that one went in quite well. Right, let's get another screwdriver. like it's nothing to this. I mean I, ex I thought it was going to be a bit bigger than this but kind of glad it's smaller to be honest. That in. Let's hope uh, I didn't disturb anything else. I don't think I did anyway. We'll soon find out if it blows up. Right, that one's in quite a way. That's done. That's fine. But yeah, when you see reviews on these, you don't um, you don't see people taking them apart, really. Well, it's rare anyway. So let me just get the. Uh, power plug. This isn't the one that was included obviously but um, I need it. Rather than using an adapter I'd rather use one that uh, I have flying around which was a spare from a PC power supply. Right, let's plug it in. Okay. So, goes in like so, it's off at the moment, so let's, um, let's see if we can plug these in, put something here to uh, stop it um, going anywhere. Because the plug is uh, under the desk and it's this isn't there's no weight to it, you know. So I'm not sure does this go that way. Ah, no, it goes that way, doesn't it? I think go that way. Well, maybe it's that way. Anyway, I'm gonna undo these. Here. Right, so I've been told with the with this um, rework gun that we should um, when you use it you should um, always put it um, down on that stand thing and then. Uh, Oh, that's why there's an option. Put it down on its stand thing after you use it and uh, leave it and don't turn the power off because um, there's heat still inside so you obviously want to uh, leave that so it kind of cools down. Whoops. Hold the camera up. Let me set that up again. Yeah. Okay, so I will put this 
straight over here just for the purposes of putting the iron somewhere. Let's plug the iron in. I mean this isn't a proper review obviously because I haven't got anything to solder but you know I just want to see it working and show some features you know. Not that there's many of them but you know it is what it is. It's a cheap soldering station. I mean if you're an expert a lot of the experts are saying oh I'll save your money get something more expensive and and I'm like, well, that's just a waste of money to me. Because I don't solder very often anyway. So, um, you know, it's, it's kind of a waste. And this iron is quite small, right? Compared to, well, I'm only comparing it to my bog standard 25 watt or 30 watt or whatever it is. So, we got two switches. That will be, the top one is for your iron, which is set to 350. Let's see what we can do with this. Right, you can go down to 180. If you can see that. And we can go up. See how far we can go. Sorry about the shaky camera. 400, well, 500. Let's just work that down a minute because we don't want it to go up there. Well, I don't. Right, we're at 340. Just put the camera back a minute. Yeah, so we're on 340. Um, the fan, so let's turn this on. I assume there's a temperature setting on this as well. It is fan. Well, I can see smoke, so that's obviously heating up. Can't feel it yet, but yeah, it's smoking on the end of the tip. Right, so let's check what we can do with this fan. Okay, I see. Uh, uh, I'm assuming F10 is the speed. And then that's the temperature. Oh! So that's how it works. So you set your um, fan speed and your temperature. Let's put that back down. Oh, that's quite clever actually. So uh, yeah, so you press the fan button. It says F and then F and the number, and it goes up to ten. So that's the speed. And you can press it a second time, and then you can set your temperature. It goes from one hundred to Let's find out. I'm assuming it'll go up to 500 as well. Oh, actually 480. So, yeah, so 480 is the maximum on the thing. I mean, I've never used a soldering station before, so I didn't know what to expect, but I am quite uh, intrigued by this, where you lift it off and that um, turns it on and then I would assume because this goes straight off when you put it down I would probably go um, set your temperature right down to 100 because that's the lowest it'll go I think. We'll find out in a minute. Yeah, 100 is the minimum, so I think the best you probably do set it to 100, and now it's 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 counting down. There you can see 
170, 60. So I guess you could set it to 100 and then once it reaches 100 then put it down because 100 degrees isn't a great deal for like a hot air gun. So I think after you use it, if you're using it on 300 or 400 or whatever you're using on, turn your temperature right down, keep it in your hand until it drops down to 100 and then put it back in there and then that should uh, give it a good life. This is uh, heated up now. Yeah, it's heated up. It's up right. So, there's not much else I can say about it. I mean, it works. I haven't tried soldering, but it will do. But um, for what it costs, it's definitely worth a punt. Especially if you uh, you're like me, you you don't solder very often. And uh, well, to be honest, I I bought this mainly just for the iron because I wanted something that went a higher temperature than my standard 25 or 30 watt unit which is no good for the high temperature solder stuff like a modern PC power supply I, I cannot even melt the solder on that on that thing so this should in theory be able to uh, do stuff like that but as I say I don't don't solder very often so you know it's it's cheap it does it's probably gonna do what it says you know I mean there's people out there saying you should spend more money but they they solder more often than I do so you know that's it basically